Romy here, and welcome to another edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. Well, as you can see by the ice in the falls and the way I am bundled up, winter has arrived in the Pacific Northwest, but that's okay because this week's adventure centers on winter and wildlife. We visit the Jewel Wildlife Area where you can lend a hand feeding the elk. Daybreak across the Jewel Wildlife Area when air is cold and crisp. And then the silence is broken. This hay kind of comes off in little flakes. And if we could drop a flake about every 10 feet or so, and we'll feed two bales. Despite the mercury holding steady at seven, the morning hay wagon shows up on time. The big bull elk seem to like it that way. Manager Brian Swearingen says feeding the elk is a regular wintertime event across Jewel Meadows. Keeps the elk here rather than nearby private lands. They end up using a lot of energy during the breeding season, which is in September, the first part of October. And so they go into winter in a real poor condition. They're trying to regain those energy and fat reserves so they can make it through the wintertime. Even so, some bulls tip the scales at 800 pounds. Impressive any time of year. After the breeding season, these bulls tend to separate away from the cows and calves. These males just group up down here and they form what we call a bachelor herd. They just are kind of in their own little group. What you're hearing now is these antler crashing and stuff like that is these younger bulls and they haven't quite figured out you know, who may be a little bit more dominant than their buddy next to them. So they still push it, push on one another. On this day, there's another sound on board the feed wagon. An artist at work. I, I'm a native Oregonian and I've always been proud to be an Oregonian. And this is just, you know, one more thing that makes it such a cool place to be. And this is just another little gem, it seems like. Dean Krauser is a wildlife artist who searches for Oregon's outdoor moments, times that many of us take for granted. On this sunup, he's looking for just the right light. The dark and the light, so maybe their head is turned to where they're in the shadow, and that's a real dark tone. Their back is kind of that nice yellowish orange, and so I'm looking for stuff like that. It's sort of stuff that stirs his imagination. The stuff that I've done and seen, and it's northwest. The elk are kind of the, the cherry on top of our big game. There's not a heck of a lot of places that even have these animals. I'm excited to get back, go through some of the reference photos. This is the stuff that gets you going. Then you do two or three elk paintings, and you're on to something else. Krauser travels across Oregon, corner to corner, and his work reflects the adventure, inspiration, and wild moments he finds along the way. I think you have to paint pretty fast with watercolor to make it right and to do what it wants to do. While he starts with a camera, of the 400 plus shots he's taken, only a handful serve as models. Soon, the brushes and the watercolors take over. It doesn't have to be accurate from the standpoint of what an elk really looks like. A lot of people like to paint that way and I'm just someone, who, you know, as far as replicating exactly what it is, or almost photorealism. I just have no interest whatsoever. Krauser's had many interests in his life and set many records too, like the NC2A track and field championships he won in 1982 at the University of Oregon, where he still holds school records in shot and discus. A few years back, he was inducted into the university's Hall of Fame. It's real easy to overdo it real fast, so I always have thought that, that less is more. But he has been painting since he was 10. It's grown into a passion for his home state that he likes to share with others. They're obviously a really intelligent animal. It's pretty neat just to watch their mannerisms and their feeding and, and the, the bulls and the younger bulls in their hierarchy of who's pushing who around. Anybody would, would love to go out and see that. So that's kind of it. Meanwhile, back at the Jewel Wildlife Area, Swearingen says anyone can enjoy this show anytime. We start feeding at 9 a.m. each day. So from 9 until about noon is a really good time to uh, come out and see these elk. 
our viewing areas are set up so that uh, people have a real good chance of seeing them. Later in the day, they get up and they start feeding on the natural forage, and they may come closer to the viewing areas. There's nobody who wouldn't enjoy doing this, coming out for an hour. How could you not? It's incredible. Picture postcard perfect, just like the experience that you'll enjoy when you visit the Jewel Wildlife Area. The refuge is open daily, and you can find all the information, not only about the hay wagon, but also the directions to the refuge on the Travel Oregon website. And that goes for Dean Krauser's artwork, a fine wildlife artist you'll want to check out. So until next week, get out here and enjoy wintertime in Oregon. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.